Somebody told a lie one day. When you start rapping like that, hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to everybody that I rock with out there. But this is a more serious topic, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I got to break down every round that I've sketched out in correspondence to a story. So I want to take you back, you know what I'm saying? You know I like to put this thing together and do this thing the right way, not the light way. Um, I was chilling yesterday. I usually get up every morning to go to the gym around 5 in the morning. So it was about 4 in the morning. And I had like 11 texts and 9 phone calls or something wild. Like a bunch of phone calls, a bunch of texts about a situation that I had heard about. And it was about Loaded Lux being dead. And, you know, I don't play with these type of things, you know what I'm saying, in battle rap, first of all. And let's start there. First of all, there's nothing wrong with Loaded Lux. Loaded Lux did not pass away. He was not injured. He was not shot. Anything like that. His brother, Jay Lux, rest in peace, 32, out of uh, Baltimore, was involved in an incident last night where in D.C., seven people were shot, two people lost their lives. Busy commercial corridor, and at 3 o'clock in the morning, when the bars are closing down, the nearby streets are filled with people. This Nest camera, recording at that time of the morning, gives you an idea of just how busy it was. A minute later, at 3.01, the camera records a burst of gunfire. Then, nine seconds later, more gunfire. <laughs> Carlos Reyes lives a block away and heard the shots. It became pretty apparent to me very early on that, that it was gunfire and that uh, there was some sort of event. And I just, I had a, a sense that I knew where it was coming from. Um, and it's the corner that's roughly uh, south from where I live. Um, and uh, we've had a lot of issues with that corner. These photos shared with News 4 show the police response and the chaotic scene on the corner. D.C. police have not put out a description of the car and have been canvassing the neighborhood looking for video. Two law enforcement sources familiar with the investigation tell News 4 it's unclear if the second volley of gunfire was return gunfire, but confirmed no guns were found at the scene. The sources say... You know what I'm saying? It's a sad, unfortunate situation that happens, you know what I mean, in the world and things like that, you know what I mean? So from what I read in the news article, I will read you some. So, so there's a way to do journalism, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a degree in journalism. I do have a degree, and I'm actually getting my master's in something else, but I do not have a degree in journalism. But the one thing I do know is about following up and making sure that your stories is concise and the things that you are reporting on, you have some kind of information on. So... I was reading the story, it said Anthony Brown of Southeast D.C. and Jay Lux of Baltimore were the victims, both were 32. The, uh, the volley of gunfire was caught on home surveillance camera. The stretch of 7th and a few blocks north of the convention center are busy commercial corridor where the bars close at 3 and the streets are full of people. In D.C., if you don't know, there's a lot of clubs, a lot of bars that let out at late nights. A bunch of people come out into the streets, often congregate, chill, talk their shit, holla at shit. It's a D.C. thing, that's just the way it goes down there. Unfortunately, Car pulls up, lets off shots, you hear some other shots being let off. I don't know if it was return fire, whatever the case may be, this young man has lost his life. You know what I'm saying? And that's from um, a journalistic standpoint. It was reported on the news and things like that. And you know, it's just sad. But that's not where uh, this story begins or ends, right? Um, a media outlet, Sub-Zero DVD. Now, Sub-Zero DVD, if you don't know, they were around in the beginning of the DVD era when Forbes DVD, On The Come Up DVD, French Montana. It was a bunch of DVD niggas that was like doing their DVD thing, getting interviews, having battles and shit like that on their DVDs, you know what I'm saying? So this sucker, Sub-Zero, you know what I'm saying? He's a clout chaser. First of all, I'm, I'm gonna break down the clout chasing in a second, right? And I know y'all think, oh, y'all all bloggers, y'all all clout. No, we're not all clout chasers because a lot of media outlets would have never reported a story on Loaded Lux passing away. And the vehement details that he gave made it seem like he was almost happy that this situation happened. See what they do for views? <laughs>
Right. Now, let me, let me stop here. Imagine your family having to deal with the tragic, unfortunate loss of one of their children and his brother, and then people are hitting you up thinking it's you. Only because a nigga with 2,000 subscribers made a video basically describing how it went down. Call yourself. Your boy Lola Lux is down. Damn. K Slay gone. What the fuck? Chaz is gone. What the what's happening, son? Come on, my nigga. <laughs> Voted Ducks is dead, y'all. He took two to the head, two to the face. Like, who do you think you are? And I'm gonna tell you why you did it. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why this blog came out a little bit later because I wanted to do some research, right? So I went to your Instagram, you know what I'm saying? And I see you got all these old ass DVD footage and all these old stories and shit. You got all these war stories from interviews from back in the DVD. Bro, nobody gives a fuck about that shit no more. First of all, you did your thing. It is what it is. This is a new era. It's a digital era. Everybody's moving. Instagram, social media, things is popping. You are only bitter because Lux didn't break you off. You on your Uncle Ice shit. Hi, Roller. Come to visit. What the fuck you doing here, Ice? Hmm? You live here? I don't think you do, B. Fuck you, Charlie. Well, fuck off, man. Now in front of Sonny, man, don't fucking come back no more. What? You understand that? Hey, baby, you the one sold me the drugs. I'm getting high, huh? Come on, man. Don't fucking walk away from me, nigga. I sold you those drugs so that you could make money. Yeah. You forgetful motherfucker. You got high. So you fucked up, oh, nigga. I fu you. I fucked up? Yeah, you Oh, you so worried about Sonny. Oh, that's right. You gonna follow in your footsteps. <laughs> Money making Sonny. <laughs> me. All right, Mr. Let me tell you something. You, Tommy, the rest of them bum-ass niggas at the store are dead on the street. <laughs> you ain't never gonna see none of my money. <laughs> never! <laughs> you understand? Like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Give me no fucking kids, man. Kids, man. You are literally on... You moving like Uncle Ice, only mad, because I could hear it. I was like, well, why, what is he doing to even be doing this shit? And in his video, he's literally saying, smacking them got involved, and the money went, and he ain't want to look out for me, and we f Huh? Just wanted to be the first to bring the announcement out. Rest in peace to Loaded Lux. Shout out to his twin, his father, John Lux. Huh? The battle rap stand-up comedian clown community lost a great one. Sub zero, zero lines, then we was the first to ever have a battle. Nemesis against ghetto ghosts. Don't say we followed in nobody. We was the first. Sub zero lines then, man. First battle was on Sub Zero DVD. I didn't know what the battle was. Ghetto Ghost and Nemesis. But me and Lux couldn't couldn't get along when the money came in. So people like Smack and all the other guys took off and we failed over nigga shit. That's my brother, he's gone now. Huh? Yeah, sub, this is crazy. This is crazy. Really what we talking about this is whole shit man the nerve of you <laughs> that's you know, disrespect like that's failed no nigga you failed nigga you failed that's what it was you ain't start your own league you ain't have nothing popping yeah you might have had some battles but it was a lot of battles on a lot of dvds at the time did you do your thing lions that did his thing yes you can't be mad at lux in life because he partnered up, not even partnered. He went battled on URL, had the big summer madness two battle. He gonna get this work. He gonna get this work. You jealous because he took off. That's the only reason why you report some shit like that. Where you're almost happy that that shit went on. You happy. You literally are like ecstatic. You almost thrilled. And I could never, I could never understand. I'm like, yo, okay. Even if y'all didn't get along, whatever the case may be. You was like damn near snickering, like my that, that was my dog. We ain't always see eye to eye. And then you know what makes it even worse? I hit you up. I hit him up. It was like five in the morning. 
I said, let me find this nigga, because he know this story is, is not real, right? He know this story is not real. So I'm thinking, if he know this story is not real, he'll just simply take the blog down. Nope. See what they do for views. I hit this nigga up, right? I said, this is what we doing? Fake news? Say less. You know what this nigga had the nerve to tell me? Stupid nigga, let's see if we hear from Lux. Basically telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about. See, he didn't, he didn't know who I was. He probably just thought I was some fan. And he gonna tell me, stupid nigga, let's see if we hear from Lux. I said, you really doubling down on bullshit and the blog is up? You really a goofy. Enjoy your 3,000 views, pussy. You out of here. Then he writes me back. The homie is dead, stupid. I said, all right, I'm gonna get you the clout that you're looking for. Then this nigga writes me back. Get Lux to talk. What? So then I send him the tweet that Ice says, Ice, I, I spoke to Dub Zero, he was misinformed, going to correct that in a few, I honestly don't know where my mind would have been if we lost Beloved. I sent him the tweet and said, is this not you? He says, never, until you manifest Lux, fuck y'all. <laughs> That's what he said, man. Sub Zero DVD. He's on, he's on Instagram. What's his Instagram? His Instagram is uh, Ronald Branch. Sub-Zero DVD legend, you know what I'm saying, that's his name. He has a little Instagram where he's got a couple thousand followers and shit. I guess he thinks he's some big time and shit, but my nigga, you're doing all of this for 6,000 followers on Instagram, my nigga? And let's look at the shit you got up here, you know what I'm saying, because your shit is dead. Your, your, whole, your whole wave and all that shit that you got is dead. You got all of this shit up here, right, all this old shit. You got K-Slay up here, and we're going to get to, we gonna get to that too, because you did some fuck shit with K-Slay. We're going to get to that too, right? You see he got K-Slay up here? He got K Slay, got all this old shit up here, you know what I'm saying? All these old shit, like Al Poe and yada yada yada. Shit from like the 90s, right? Like, nigga, we don't give a fuck about all this old shit, right? Remy Ma from like back in the days. Look at him. You see, he got K Slay right there. He got mad K Slay shit up here, right? Acting like K Slay is his man, right? This is a, these, these are the type of niggas you have to deal with in the world. He got all these pictures up here of K Slay. You would think that that was that nigga brother, right? I'm scrolling through. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. He got K. He got, he's showing love to Slay, showing love to Slay. Nah, man, this nigga's a hater. Let me show you what he did with K-Slay. He posts all them shits up there, and this nigga got a whole video on his channel right now, to this day, that's titled, is a rat, right? He put this shit on his channel after Slay died, you know what I'm saying? Like, mind you, even if Slay, let's say, yeah, we know that, that, that Slay's not no rat, right? You put this video on your channel, right, with 2,000 views, right? You put this shit up there, right? for a nigga named K Slay who, who looked out for you. And let's see how he looked out for you at one time, you know what I'm saying? Cause the nigga rest in peace to K Slay and everything, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to him. This nigga literally looked out for your goofy ass, you know what I'm saying? You stopping by the memorial and shit like that, but let's look how he looked out for you. You posted this right here, right? You know what this shit says? It says, I was fresh home broke, you gave me a few stacks to throw on these hoes, you know what I'm saying? The nigga gave you money to throw on the bitches and you literally put up a blog talking about K Slay snitch. Talk about it. shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. Selling that weed, boy. After he passed. For what? For 2,000 views, my nigga? Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no way. And then when I hit the nigga up to tell him that it's not real, you know, Lux is still alive, the nigga went at me like, yo, pfft. Prove it until y'all can prove it, until you can manifest it. The nigga told me to get Lux to talk. And the news article, mind you, the news article that is online because I did my fucking journalistic due diligence, the news article online out of DC says everything that happened, including the person's name, right? That passed away, right? This is the, this is the right here. Seven victims, shooting, left the club, sources say, right? That's what the article says. If you scroll through the article, the names of the people who passed, Anthony Brown and Jay Lux, Lux's brother, are in the article, unfortunately. This sucker is really reporting that Lux passed. I know we all not perfect, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, things happen in life. Everybody got their own shit that they have going with them. But this type of shit right here cannot happen. Dub Zero, you are dub. So now everything that you've done in DVD area, all that shit, goes to the side. We gonna know you as the hater who literally sat there and reported Loaded Lux died and he didn't. And then double down on the shit when I approached you and it hit you on the DM about it.
I'm hitting you up like, yo, come on, fam. Like, you're not going to take this down? And you leaving it up just because it's doing views. All the comments are killing you, but you don't even care because people are still going to look at it. You one of them niggas that's like, it don't matter if I die as long as 3 million people watch it. And you an old nigga too? You're supposed to be showing the way, showing people how to do things, helping nurse, nurture and, and help build the culture and shit like that. But you're not. You're not. You're just an old, bitter ass sucker that Lux didn't fuck with. And I'm glad. Now, the way you moving, Lux is smart to have not fucked with you. Because imagine if he would have been rocking with you and this is the type of energy and this is the type of shit that you harbor on the inside. You hate that man. You are mad. And the only, another reason why I feel like you're mad because you just seen him pop up on Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay and all that because you don't fuck with Battle Rap. You don't even be watching this shit. You ain't got nothing on your page posted about Battle Rap so I know you're not here for us. But you saw a nigga that you used to rock with making moves that you not making so the jealousy comes out and the shit bubbles. And it happens in this culture. It happens all the time. I mean, like a, a couple niggas jumped on some shit and made up a whole lie about me and Surf. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't check them niggas. They let them go right to the next line, right to the next line. Niggas are still watching. So the whole shit happens all the time. But then when the lies are disproven, niggas don't apologize. They don't say my bad. They don't say nothing. You know, goddamn well, they could easily reach out to surf or they could reach out to a family member, a cousin, and figure out if their lie is true. But they don't want the lie to not be true. They want the lie to be true because you're watching it. And Sub-Zero is another nigga that's just like one of them. I'm not going to hold y'all that long, you know what I'm saying? We all know this shit was wrong, but I definitely had to dispel the rumors because there are some people who may not know and who are not as quickly in tune with everything that's going on. So, shout out to every single one of y'all that watched this content, whether religiously or passing. Sub-Zero, that was some fuck shit, and you a whoe-ass nigga. Forever. Always oh, an old nigga trying to take a young nigga out. Ah!